AmpleNote is built on their idea execution funnel. It is designed to help bring ideas to life, from thoughts to action. So they worked each of these phases into different modes. Let's check them out. So first up, we have Jots mode. So these daily notes offer us the space to write anything down. Just like solving math problems with scrap paper, notes can give us the space to figure out our life problems. Daily jots are the perfect place for writing anything down. Now, if I already know what a note is going to be about, I just make it its own note. I could highlight this text and extract to note, or I could just hit new note for a fresh page. Let's check out the notes mode now. Here, we could give it a title, some tags, and I'll cover tags more in another video, but they're basically the folders for AmpleNote, except they're kind of better than folders because they could be in multiple places at once. Notes are written in Markdown, but we don't need to know it. We could use these editing tools. Here we have bold, italics, strike through, highlight, headings, and we have some tools for lists, tasks, bullets, numbers, and some other formatting tools. These are the goodies. We got tables, links, attachments, images, videos, block quotes, literal text, code blocks, and the all essential undo and redo buttons. And all of these work with hotkeys too. Just hover over the tool and you could see what key it is. It's a great experience on mobile too. The bar adapts to different formats so the buttons change depending on what we're editing. And at the bottom, we have a panel for any hidden tasks, another for completed tasks, along with a little consistency graph for tracking streaks, and the backlinks panel. This one is crazy powerful. It'll get its own video for sure, but basically it just shows you the notes and content that was linked to that note. <laughs> All right, I'll show you a bit of the magic now. Let's make a new note called at create. Now, let's say I'm going about my day and I think of an idea for a skit. Uh, write it down. And at the top, I add this heading, create. So with this link as a heading, I can see the contents in the backlinks of the note. So this heading link includes everything until either a bigger heading or a line break. If it's not a heading, it just includes the line that it was written on. And this makes it really easy to capture and organize my ideas. Here, let me show you another example. Here I have a journal entry in my daily jots. And I'll add this heading here, journal. And I feel at ease knowing that that's all I need to do to organize this note. Because I could always go to the backlinks and see all my journal entries there. So what about the other two views? Here, let me show you one more thing before we get to them. All right, so the day goes on and uh, I collected a couple tasks here in my daily job. Some are creative ideas, some are house chores, and one's a movie I should watch. Remember the backlinks I just showed you? I'll use them again here, inside the tasks this time. I'll tag these ideas, create these home, and this one to watch. Now check this out. We go into tasks mode and we have a big old pile here. Let's just filter tasks by note reference and bam, we've got ourselves exactly what we're looking for. These are all creative ideas that I can make. Oh, look, I made this one already. Now it's another day and I think there was something I was supposed to do around the house. Let me just look up home and, oh, I see there's a couple things I have to do actually. And we could even set the schedule within the task itself over here in the task settings. We could set it to repeat on a schedule whenever it's complete, very useful. We could set when it starts, which is essentially the due date. Um, we could have the task hidden until a certain time and we could set pri different priority levels whether it be important, urgent, or both. And how long will this task take? Usually it's good to try to break down larger projects into smaller tasks that could be done in 15, 30 hour long chunks. 
Dismissing the task gives you some of the task score. Crossing out the task will keep it here in line with the note because normally when you complete a task, it goes over to the bottom into the completed section of the note. Wow, yeah. So this is enough for me already. Uh, I don't really use the calendar yet, but let's take a good look at it anyway. First up though, to see anything, we have to register a task domain. So we have to dig into the settings here, find task calendar and configure the task domains precisely how we want them. Here we can be very specific with choosing our tags or notes that the calendar will pull tasks from. Unfortunately, it doesn't pull the tagged tasks yet though, only the ones that are actually in the notes. So after we set up a domain with some tasks, we'll see them on the side here. Just simply drag and drop them onto the calendar to schedule them. It's super easy. Just click and drag to resize too. And if we connect our Google or Outlook calendar, they're really connected. We could see our events in the Ample Note calendar, and we could see our Ample Note tasks in either of these calendars. Pretty cool. Alright, so that about sums up the idea execution funnel. What's your favorite Ample Note feature? Let us know in the comments below and stay tuned for more Ample Note tutorials. Cheers.